Okay, as you can see, we've got it all in bits. Um, put new bearings in there. The other ones were a little bit loose and notchy. Um, these are a little tighter, but um, not going to worry us because they will be the same throughout the test. Um, I've bolted a nut on here with a couple of washers. Um, which is the same weight as the magnet to keep everything even and um, we're going to give this a run up without the magnets installed and have a look to see how much current we are drawing at the 4 volts which we will be running at this time um, I've now got our CVR between our power supply and our cap bank which has smoothed things right out on the scope um, and I also have my DMM across that CVR so as we can see if it's uh, reading around about what our scope is telling us as in the mean value ok so I'll go ahead and put it together we'll give it a run up and see how we go ok so we're ready to go um, once again you can see that I have plenty of clearance on the gears so they're not going to be binding up um, everything else is the uh, same as the last test other than I have shifted our uh, CVR in between the power supply and the caps which um, has resulted in a smoother line um, as it was rather than have the um, CVR between the cap and the motor ok so um, we're ready to go up and we'll get our baseline measurement for our um, 4 volts input Quieter with the new bearings in it. Something up a bit. Red on there to warm up a bit. Flicking between 512 and 520 um, mean voltage across our CVR. And it's fairly stable at that. The meter is reading around the 512, 513 mini volts across our CVR. fluctuate a little um, from our mains but the um, power supply does a pretty good job of um, keeping the uh, voltage being delivered the same So um, seems to be fairly stable at 520 millivolts across our CVR, and um, motor is definitely warm. So uh, that'll be our baseline. We go ahead now, and we'll put our magnets in, and we'll come back, and um, we'll see how it looks and uh, what sort of current. 
we are passing across our CBR um, with our magnets installed. Okay, as you can see, um, both my magnets are installed. You can also see that the timing is out. Um, that is currently on top dead centre. This plate here should be a little closer, but um, nonetheless, we'll uh, give it a run and see what happens. The other thing you'll notice is um, if we bring this around here, you'll see it wants to push back that way. It means this plate is too thin. Um, well, we don't have our second plate in there, and it wants to push back a little bit on the um, magnet that is on the um, conrod. So, uh, motor is also hooked up. This is, um, don't forget, this is just the um, test bed to show you um, the effects um, and to explain as to how it works. There's no way in hell this is going to overcome the friction um, bent crank and uh, magnets are fairly far apart plus our shield is too thin but we will see what happens um, with the magnets now installed and as to what currents uh, or current we are drawing. Okay so um, let's run it up. Once again we'll give it a bit of time to warm up. Okay, so yeah, definitely a lot smoother having our um, CVR between the um, power supply and the large cap bank rather than between the cap bank and the motor. Gave us a nice, stable, accurate reading there. Okay, so I'll uh, get this one uploaded. I will um, go through the painstaking task of uploading this file to the um, our file. Uh, site or whatever it is we call it um, rather than YouTube so um, we'll see how we go with that. Cheers guys.